today we will learn about the vertebrata group of the animal kingdom we know that some organisms have a rod like structure present at the dorsal side of their body in their embryonic stage or any other stage of life which is known as notochord or backbone animals whose notochord is present in the embryonic state are called chordates let's discuss chordates today some characteristics of the organisms of the chordate group are the presence of notochord at some stage of life hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits all chordates are bilateral symmetric triploblastic and coelomate organ level organization is found in their body their heart is located ventrally they have a closed circulatory system the chordates can be divided into protochordates and vertebrata let's understand protochordata these include ascidia hudmenia amphioxus etc their bodies have bilateral symmetry they are often marine creatures they are triploblastic coelomates but their main feature is the presence of notochord notochords are long rod like structures found on the back of animals now let's talk about vertebrata these include various animals like cattle frog tortoise snake various birds and mammals in the embryonic stage of vertebrata group animals notochord is found in the adult stage it changes in the cartilaginous or bony vertebral column we can divide vertebrates into six classes let's understand those some animals in the kingdom vertebrata are jawless while others have jaw we place jawless animals in class cyclostomata jaw is a mouth opening and closing structure in some vertebrates this structure is not present that is they are jawless they are placed in class cyclostomata for example petromyzon or lamprey and mixin or hagfish all these are external parasites of some fish they have elongated eel like body the mouth is circular and the skin is slimy and scaleless they have 6 to 15 pairs of gill spores for respiration and have a closed circulatory system they have cranial and spinal cartilage they reproduce through sexual reproduction except for cyclostomate other vertebrates have jaw let's see their features pisces or fishes all the fish are kept in this class for example shark tuna rohu catla etc their bodies are streamlined and they swim in water with the help of fleshy tail their skin is covered with scales or plates they use gills for respiration with the help of which they obtain oxygen dissolved in water their heart is two chambered they are cold blooded 
meaning their body temperature does not remain constant. The skeleton of some fish, such as sharks, is made up of cartilage only. The skeleton of other fishes, such as tuna, is made of bones. They all lay eggs for reproduction. Class Amphibia The term amphibia consists of amphi and bias. Amphi means both, that is two, and bias means life. In this way, they are animals that can live on both water and land. Among them are frogs, salamanders, toads, etc. They have two pairs of legs. They do not have fish-like flakes on their skin. But mucus glands are found on their skin. They contain gills or lungs for respiration and their heart is three-chambered. They lack an external skeleton. Male and female are different in them. They are egg-laying organisms, that is, oviparous. Reptilia This class contains all those vertebrates that move by creeping or crawling, such as turtles, snakes, lizards, crocodiles, etc. They are all cold-blooded animals. Their body is covered with dry scales. They do not have external ear openings, but tympanum represents ear. Some organisms do not have legs, but some organisms have two pairs of legs. They breathe with the help of lungs. In most reptiles, the heart is made up of three chambers, while the crocodile has four chambers in its heart. Males and females are different. They are all egg-laying animals. Their eggs are protected by tough outer shell. Birds or aves These are warm-blooded animals, meaning their body temperature remains constant. These includes birds such as parrots, peacocks, ostrich, pigeons, sparrow, etc. They have two pairs of legs. Forelimbs are modified into organs that help in flying, that is, wings. Hind limbs are adapted for walking, swimming, or perching. They have beaks. Their bodies are covered with feathers. They breathe with the help of lungs. The endoskeleton is made of long bones. The bones are hollow and have air sacs. It helps them to reduce their weight, which helps them in flying. They all are egg-laying animals. Mammals. These include animals such as humans, whales, camels, tigers, echidna, etc. They are found in all types of environments such as land, water, desert, dark cave, forest, etc. Their main feature is the presence of mammary glands in the body in the female. This gland produces milk which nourishes the newborn. They have two pairs of legs and are adapted for walking, swimming, running, climbing trees, flying, etc. They have hair follicles on their skin. Sweat and oil glands are found in the skin. External ear pinna is present. Their heart is made up of four chambers. Respirations in these 
occur with the help of diaphragm. Male and female are different and fertilization is internal. Some mammals such as platypus produce eggs. All other mammals give birth to an infant. Animals that give birth to a baby are called viviparous. Today we have learned the vertebrata group of animal kingdom. 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 Kingdom.